them my world, get my purpose Show them that we real for real, we ain't rehearse it Gonna go through it, but nobody is perfect I never said that, but baby girl, you worth it What's good, e and fam? It's your guys at Ed. It's your girl, Michelle. Back at you with another video. We're gonna bring you back into the kitchen with us. We're making bring some banana pudding. pudding. Some bomb. Bomb, bomb. Banana, pudding. banana pudding. And if you clicked on this video, obviously, you like banana pudding or you wanna know how to make it. It's super easy, super quick. I got this recipe from my grandmother, so shout out to my grandmother. Shout out to me. We're gonna try to imitate it and make it good, just as good as she does. And then, we're gonna dig in. Oh yeah. So gotcha. make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. If you have not already joined the EM fam, make sure you turn your post notifications on so you're notified whenever we wait, what was I wait, so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. We're gonna jump right into the video. First things first, you're gonna need a bowl, right? Any bowl of your choice, and then you're gonna need some type of instant pudding. Um, normally you would go for a banana, but in the store they only have vanilla. Um, so, so we're we got, just gonna we got the substitute. Boom. So we're gonna pour two packets. You ready, babe? Yes. We're gonna pour two packets of vanilla instant pudding into Damn, I'm making a mess already. We're gonna pour two packets of vanilla pudding into the bowl. And the reason why we're only using two packets is because um, the kids don't really care for banana pudding, so I don't wanna make too big of a so it's just us. Yeah, too big of a pan and it goes to waste. So boom, you got it in a bowl. Next, it mm. says to add three cups of milk. So you're gonna need a measuring cup. Babe, you got the milk? Let's do it. I usually use almond milk, but we didn't have that. So we're gonna use some good old whole milk. That's good. All right, one. I don't want to make it too watery. No? Yeah, it says add add two packages, um, mix three cups of cold milk and medium bowl. We're going to use a blender because uh, I'm not whisking anything. No. So basically you want to make sure you mix it or blend it so it's like a nice consistency. I'm not finished but I just wanted to show you guys. It should be nice and not thick but you don't want it to be watery because of course you're going to refrigerate it and it's going to sit and then it's going to give you that pudding effect. So you just want to make sure you mix it nice. Step is to cut up your bananas. Now we're not really well. I'm big on bananas, but um, Babe doesn't really like bananas yeah. that much. So you don't have to put a lot of bananas in your banana pudding. You can do it how you like it. But if your bananas are ripe, like I said, you'll get that nice sweet taste. But it's still gonna stick. I still gonna taste um, scrumptious. Yeah, it's gonna be good. But sometimes yeah. if you pick your bananas and they're not all the way ripe, you're gonna get that bitter taste. I'm just gonna. Cut these bad boys up, and being that I didn't buy, you know, four put, I didn't use four packets of bananas. I mean, pudding. We're gonna have a smaller bowl, like I said before. So. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not big on bananas, cause. Uh... You don't like the, what is it, the texture? A lot of people complain about the texture. That's probably Yeah, the texture, and I don't know, sometimes uh, after the, even the aftertaste. It's just like I love bananas. Good. I eat a banana. Now, banana, banana. see, banana pudding, banana flavor stuff, that's cool with me. This is like the, one of the easiest, you know, desserts that you can make. reason why I like to make it, because I like to do things the, the easy way. And of course, you're going to need vanilla wafers. If you don't like, you know, the if you don't want to pay the price for Nabisco, you can go with the off brand. It still tastes the same, but we couldn't find it yesterday in the store. So the first thing you want to do is, baby, you want to spread the cookies out for me. 
So what you're gonna do is you pour them. The first layer is to use the cookies. So you wanna put your cookies down first and then they're gonna, you know. yeah, you're just gonna start in layers. So this should be your first layer. It should look like this. Just put your cookies down. You can use any type of cookies. I've seen people using like the Pepperidge Farms, the chestnut ones. We stick to the basics, okay? Banana pudding is used to me with vanilla wafers. So after we apply the, the after we apply the wafers, we're now gonna apply the bananas on top. So you do the wafers, then you do the bananas, and now you just apply the pudding on top. But like I said, I only got two packets, so I'm just going to try to stretch it, and you just want to pour it, pour it on top. I don't want to use too much because I don't, have, do a lot, I don't have a lot of pudding, so I'm trying to get two rolls out of this, but I don't know if I'm going to, I probably only have one roll, and you just want to like smooth it out. Smooth your pudding out. And I knew I should have got another pack, but. for one layer and I'm really upset I'm about to go to the store and get like two more boxes you're supposed to do two layers but basically after you apply your pudding on top then you want to just repeat the same steps so since I don't have another I don't have enough pudding to do two layers we're just gonna do one which is fine it's like I said it's only it's for me and babe and a little for my mom yeah. so the last step is what I do is I take the, the vanilla wafers and I just crumble them on top just for decoration mm. purposes Secret so weapon. you just want to you know crumble it it's just secret weapon for decoration purposes but it's also good with the crumbs on top the more the better Definitely. you just squeeze it in your hand until you get crumbs You can just make it look like a decoration. Yeah, yeah, that's what this is what I like to do. Only because I like um, my food to look nice. But you don't have to do this, you know. But if you're going to like an event and you want to look, you stop eating them. But if you're going to like an event, you know, to a cookout, something for church or, you know, somebody's house, you just want to make it look nice. That's it. And this is the final look of my banana pudding. Let me back it up some so y'all can see. This is really easy. Again, I didn't buy enough vanilla pudding. I should have bought more. Uh, I should have used at least four packets of vanilla pudding in order to do two layers. But again, it's only for me and Babe, so I didn't want to waste it. And I know you guys know banana pudding goes to, like bad after two days. So if you don't eat after two days, it starts to get really liquidy and whatever. But it will look so crazy. Yeah, if you are a mother and you know you're trying to think of healthy things, healthy desserts for your children, or just something for yourself to nibble on at night, you can just make banana pudding. Banana pudding is so easy. There's only like a few steps. Anybody can make it. And that's it. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some foil on it. I'm going to put the lid on it. And I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator to let it chill. Because it tastes so much better when it's nice and cool. Mm -hmm. oh of God. course the pudding will set. And then you know it will give you that nice taste. And then the cookies start to get a little bit softer. And that's it. So yeah this is the final result. I hope you guys like my our banana pudding. So easy. I really did all the work. You just watch. But I hope you're taking tips. But yeah, it's so super, so easy. And we're probably gonna do, we're probably gonna eat this off camera because we don't wanna rub it in your face. It's that good. But why don't you go to the store right now and just go make some? It's inexpensive. All, all of this 
for all the ingredients that you need for this is under like ten dollars. Seriously. So I mean, go get you some banana pudding and just chat on. It's healthy. It's it's quick and it's easy. So if you guys want to see more cooking videos on our channel, sure we can't eat this right now. You want to take a bite? Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a bite. We have to. I'm sorry. We're gonna eat this, but yeah. Before um, so yeah. If you guys want to see us do more cooking videos, make sure you comment down below what videos you want to do. Um, what videos you want to see we have something in the store for you guys special coming up soon so stay tuned for that make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're new turn on the post turn on notifications. notification i'm on so that you can notified every time that we drop a video every single time that look what we're giving y'all yeah so yeah stay beautiful stay blessed Please.